baseball fans and welcome baseball coming up on this Memorial Day it's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the San Francisco Giants along with my partner Chris Singleton I'm John Chompy Singy, this might be my favorite ballpark in the game just looking out over the bay seeing the boats in the water beautiful ballpark a great atmosphere don't get it twisted San Francisco Giants fans bring it all right we'll be back to get this one started after this just about set to go and starting in this one Mason Black and Singy it's unique these days but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy yeah Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout he knows he needs to miss barrels get some soft contact let the defense do work behind him and I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo don't give hitters time to adjust or think they can move through a ball game and you look off they're in line for a quality start we'll see what he's got in this one Kyle Schwarber the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one. The wind of the pitch. No. Two balls. No strike. There's right. a strike. Two one. That's in there, and the count is two and two. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. Rolls across the diamond. One out in the top of the first. And time now for the Phillies lineup. The guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Kyle Schwarber. And Boog, he's a guy who loves coming up with the chance to drive in his teammates. It's like he finds another level of focus. Batting over 300 with runners in scoring position this season. And you know what? Because of that, I wonder if the guys in front of him will see some better pitches to hit because you don't want to put any free base yeah. runners on with him looming in the on-deck circle. JT Real Muto, batting with one down, takes a strike. Real Muto batting second in today's lineup, and he was a third-round pick back in 2010. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One out, base is empty. Goes down looking. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Bryce Harper at the plate and takes one high ball. there. No strike. Two down, nobody on. And that one is inside. Next offering is downstairs. Alec Bohm next to bat for Philadelphia. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Inside ball four. No, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now it's Alec Bohm. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Bounced up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Yeah. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Just missed. First and second, two down. And that 
that's in for a strike. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two outs. Got yeah. him. That's out number three. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. here at Oracle Park. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Wheeler. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. And the batter will be the shortstop, Luis Matos. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. He caught it behind his back. Nicely done for the out. And let's take a look at the lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Lamont Wade Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Pache ranging after it. He's got it. And there's two down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Tyro Estrada stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs, space is empty. Fastball for a strike. And that is in for a strike. And the count is one and two. And look out. As that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So, man aboard. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. He's been showing off some pop lately. Three homers already in this series. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Estrada back in on the dive. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. That misses. And it's two and two. Two two. And a pitch. Oh, Swing and a miss. And that is that. 
So the Giants leave one. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Top of the second. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed no, factors in the most. And a good eye there. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. A wind in the pitch. In the air, left side. Ramos in position. And there's one down. And here is Sosa to the plate. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Ball one, Ball one there. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boop, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Way Way out front for strike two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Whit Merrifield, the next to hit, takes ball one. The pitch. Called strike right there. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Next offering is foul back. No score here in the second. Oh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Wheeler back to work. Outside low, and it's one and oh. And there's the strike. off the mark now two balls and a strike broken bat roll into first and foul ball and the pitch spoils that one and it remains two and two
Fly ball down the line. Merrifield racing after it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch. And a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Two way down. Here's Elliot Ramos. Swing and a ground ball out to short. That's the inning. Out. Giants are down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in San Francisco, new inning getting started. Here's Christian Pache. The right hander back to work. Foul ball there. Oh, one now on the ground right side tosses to first leadoff man retired here in the third Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here grounded out his first time he's a big strong guy can untie this game with one swing That's down and in. Next offering way upstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. And a couple of quick outs. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Caught looking his first time up. There's the strike. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one wrapped foul. Kicks and fires. Just oh, no. misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And gone! He'll circle the bases. And it gives him the lead in the third. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching. And devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Harper oh, takes down. low, second trip to the plate in this one. balls no strikes to count black maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run Chris yeah it seems that way you know pitchers they can come out feel good but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch they're not trusting their stuff Alec Bohm in the on deck circle left hand hitter waits there's a strike 
Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-round walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And a foul ball. Two outs. That one hooked foul. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One hit in the inning. A solo homer. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phillies one and the Giants nothing. And welcome back Leading to the up. ballpark. The Bottom of the inning. Here's Kirk Casale. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. One, two. Outside low. Two and two. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up. The two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And up next for the Giants, Brett Wisely. Ball. That one missing inside. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Next low. offering is down low. And another ball. Luis Matos waits to bat for the Giants. Pitch. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. in the box now take strike one and I know you want to be patient as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder sliced hard but foul with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here Just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. 
Next offering is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. Still two and two after the foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Wheeler with a throw over. And he dives back in safely. Wisely at first, one gone. Run around the move. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Right hander kicks, deals. That one down the line. And that's just foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the righty deals. On the ground to first. Bounces into the outfield base hit. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Runners at the corners here, one away. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Race down the line. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Around third. The relay to the plate. He will score and they take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. Knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. One out. Runner at second. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. That one lifted to left. Settles under it. Two down. The batter, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. And here is Matt Chapman. His first at bat was a strikeout. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above that. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Oh. A gigantic blast. That's his fourth home run of the series. It's 4-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Solaire stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The wind of the pitch. No. Just missed. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Ball. And that's too high. Rio. Wheeler. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. This one smoked on its way out of here. They go back to back. 
It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add on. It's 5-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Ball. And that's outside. And that's ball 1. Hater deals. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Fouls it back with two strikes. The one, two. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 5 1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Start of the fourth and digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. And he deals. Pitch ball misses one. there. Ball one. You know, these Phils do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. Two two now. Swing and a pop up. Moving under this one. One away. The batter number five. Second base. Right this is Bryson Stott. This Stop. splits between April and May there. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two O's to count. Two and O to count. Here it comes. And a foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. The two one. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits. That oh, one yeah. just misses the outside corner. And that's ball three. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. Now batter. And now for the Phillies, Edmundo Sosa. Sosa. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Pickoff throw. Stop back in standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Inside just missed. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And. 
and here it comes. No. And delivers outside. Oh, he looks more focused no at the strike. plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. 2 0. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there safely. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. One away, runners at first and third. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, one. The oh one. Ball and one. ball one. The Giants leading by four, top half of inning number four. Fastball for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch with the best pitch you possibly can and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Popped up. Wade settles underneath it. Two down. Now batting. The center fielder, Christian Pache. And the batter now, Christian Pache. He's 0 for 1. Ball. Just missed. Fouled off down the right side. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Two on, two outs. Drive. That missed by a lot. And yeah, that's ball two. Corners are occupied with two down. And another ball. Okay. Kyle Schwarber hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat. And they'd love to give him a shot here. In the air, out towards left center. Could be extra bases. Around third. He'll score. Two runs are in, and it's now a two-run game. Nicely done. Brings home two. As a hitter, there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap. Right off the bat, you know you put a great swing on the baseball. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Taylor Rogers. He's been so good against lefties. So the batting order turns over. So here's the Phillies DH. Kyle Schwarber. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. Next oh. offering is outside. misses and a count two and one. One strike. Runner at second, two down. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. That one missed. 
That's a really good take. JT Real Muto would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the fourth, and digging in for San Francisco, Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball, no. Ball one, no strikes. All these Giants doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. Yeah. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Ball. And another ball. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Boom. Makes the catch. One down. Now batting. Catcher. Kirk. Casale. Here's the catcher, Kurt Casale. Struck out swinging his first time. No. Just missed. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Whoa, and a good eye there. Low. And that one clips the corner. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes no. because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. go down quietly and it remains 5-3 we're back and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth Luke Jackson and I can't imagine any save is an easy one you're holding a small lead on the scoreboard and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can so it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And now it is JT Real Muto. He's already homered here in this one. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. Activity in the bullpen. Camilo Doval up and loosening in the pen. Why to kick the pitch? Inside, no. just missed. Zero. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. 
That one hammered center field. That's back. It bangs off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Here's Harper now. There's a strike. With the tying run at the plate. And we're at the top of the fifth. Rocketed out towards right center. And it's into the gap. Headed for the plate. Throw is offline and he scores. And now they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. No outs. Runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm, known for his late inning heroics. Late swing, fouled off. Riding to the plate. Ball one. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Way one high one. with that one. Ball one. Man at first one away. Wouldn't one chase that time. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. One down. Phillies down a run. Next pitch in for a strike. Now two and one. And another ball. Well, in this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. And a pitch. On its way to the corner. And that drops foul. Harper leads off first with one away. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch.
Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three, two. On the ground. Off balance feed. There's one to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Jordan Hicks taking over on the mound. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Here's the Phillies pinch runner, Johan Rojas. So they're down to their final out. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. Just missed. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot. Rudder takes oh, off. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Throw Let's safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. So the tying run at second. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. This could end it. Very high with that one. And that's ball three. Edmundo Sosa on deck for the Phils. Three two now. Sends it to center, and this should be it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants strand the tying run on base to win it. Black with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. Close one here today and your final 5-4. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.